Hi. Hopefully you're watching this video because you are searching for Cisco CCNA certification track and related information. In this video, I'll provide you a brief introduction of Cisco CCNA and suggest a complete solution about how to prepare and pass the related exams. But first, let me introduce myself to you. I'm Joey. I've been teaching Cisco courses for the last five years. I've helped hundreds of students to understand different topics and technologies related to networking. I've also helped ExamSkey to develop products that can help CCNA candidates to practice and pass the exam with confidence. So, let's get started with the introduction of Cisco Associated Track. If you are intending to earn Cisco Certified Associate credentials, then you have two options. One, CCNA. Two, CCDA. Once you enter the Cisco Associate Track, you have several options to earn associate level certifications according to your requirements. Now I'll explain the options. CCNA Routing and Switching. CCNA Routing and Switching Certification is designed for entry level network engineers who work as network specialists, network support engineers, and network administrators in order to support them for endorsement of their competency in networking, operating, installing, configuring, and troubleshooting the switched medium-sized networks. You are required to pass 200-120 CCNA exam or 100-101 and 200-101 exams for this certification. CCNA Data Center. CCNA Data Center is especially designed for data center network administrators who are interested to save their money as well as time while designing, installing the equipment, and maintaining the data center. You are required to pass 640-911 and 640-916 exams for this certification. CCNA Security. CCNA Security is intended for those professionals who are responsible for securing the Cisco networks as this certification allows them to recognize the security threats and take action to mitigate them. 640-554 is required for CCNA Security Certification. CCNA Service Provider the intended audience for CCNA Service Provider Certification includes professionals who are experts in current networking trends and technologies in the service provider industry. Candidates validate their skills required for maintenance, deployment, and improvement of carrier-grade network infrastructure. You have to pass 640-875 and 640-878 for this certification. CCNA Voice. CCNA Voice is for the professionals responsible to administer a voice network such as Voice Engineer, Voice Manager, and Voice Technologies Administrator. The professionals validate their competency in IP telephony, call control, voicemail solutions, voice over IP technologies, and handset by earning CCNA Voice certification. 640-461 is required for CCNA voice certification. CCNA video. CCNA video certification is for audiovisual professionals who are eager to extend their expertise in video over IP network to video environment. This certification is a job role focused certification and it equips the professional with the skills required for deployment of video endpoints operations of networked video solutions, and set up new users. You have to pass 200-001 and 640-461 exams to achieve CCNA video certification. CCNA Wireless. CCNA Wireless covers the implementation, configuration, and support of wireless LANs, particularly the networks using Cisco equipment. This certification enables you to perform basic tasks of Cisco 
WLAN in the SMB and Enterprise Networks. You have to pass 640-722 exam for CCNA wireless certification. Now, it's time to select the right CCNA certification and exam and start your journey towards achieving your CCNA certification. I recommend that you must practice real exam questions before attempting the exam to reduce the chances of failure. You can get these practice questions from exams key at the following link. For discussions and questions, visit the forum certificationcoaching.com. Thanks for watching.